The first stage in the microchip manufacturing process is called material preparation. In this stage, ordinary quartz sand is converted into pure silicon crystals. The silicon crystals are then converted into rods or ingots at extremely high temperatures. The second stage in the manufacturing process is called wafer fabrication. In this stage, the ingots are sliced into thin disks with great accuracy. Each disk is only a few millimeters in thickness and is called a wafer. Each wafer will eventually grow into hundreds of integrated circuits. The first step in the fabrication process is called chemical vapor deposition. In this step, a thin layer of very pure silicon is deposited on the wafer. This pure silicon will form the base on which the transistors will be grown. The second step in the fabrication process is called thermal oxidation. In this step, the pure silicon is oxidized at very high temperatures to form a thin layer of silicon dioxide which is nothing but the gate oxide layer of the transistor. The third and final step in the fabrication process is called lithography and is the most important step in the fabrication process. This process involves a series of fully automated steps where wafers are first deposited with a light-sensitive photoresist material. These wafers are then exposed to specific light patterns which are defined by the GDS format, which is the result of the integrated circuit's back-end development flow. The regions exposed to the photoresist are then removed using acids in a process called etching. The unexposed regions protect the lower layers from reacting to material deposition thereby forming specific patterns. The process of photoresist application, lighting, etching and material deposition is repeated several times until several millions of transistors are created and connected, forming several hundreds of chips on one wafer. The next stage in microchip manufacture is testing and assembly. The first step involves testing each chip in the wafer for manufacturing defects. This helps in early identification and elimination of defective parts before assembly, thereby reducing assembly cost. The wafer is then sliced into multiple chips and sent to the packaging unit. Each integrated circuit is placed in protective bases, bonded and packaged, based on the packaging requirement.